Hi, I'm the parent of a son with autism who also suffers from anxiety and depression. My wife Becky and I moved with Scott to Greenville, South Carolina in 2013. Change is hard for autistic adults, and it was especially hard on Scott, who just turned 22. Like many parents, we sent Scott to the state's vocational rehab program to help him with employment. But we noticed, as many do, that these programs go only so far. After the training phase is over, you're often left on your own to not only find the job, but struggle through the minefields of keeping a job. Perhaps the biggest downfall is the program is not specific for adults with autism. That's when I decided to leave my career and devote my time to finding out who is actually helping adults with autism get and keep jobs. Jobs that are not in a sheltered workshop, but real jobs in the community. I discovered that the state program only serves those who have Medicaid waivers. That leaves many, especially higher functioning adults with autism, out in the cold. They need help with employment like those on waivers, but they don't qualify. Even those who do qualify are often on waiting lists for years before getting services. That's why I started Engaged Employment as a private pay option for employment services of adults with cognitive disabilities. But now it's time for Engaged Employment to grow and enter a new phase. We need more job coaches to serve a growing population of adults with autism. We need to provide customized employment services coming from job coaches who have the best training available. We need more engagement with businesses that are struggling to fill jobs. Are you interested in making a difference in the lives of autistic adults in the upstate? Then let's help them be independent and feel the value of working in their communities. Let's bring diversity into our businesses by hiring people who bring their own special gifts. Watch these interviews of people who have experienced the benefits of engaged employment services and contact me if you'd like to be part of this next phase. Thank you. Sometimes we get down on ourselves in our day, I mean, we get frustrated, we get agitated, and when we see her, I think when the employees see her out in the lobby, um, and the guests for that matter, see her out in the lobby with a smile on her face, doing her job, it helps pick you up, it brightens up your day. It says, hey, she's doing it, I can do it. Let's all you know, pitch in and sort of make this work. And right. So her um, attitude's kind of been contagious or infectious here. Okay. And she smiles and laughs a lot and jokes and um, you know, the staff feels that, feeds off of it, and it helps. So. Mm -hmm. He's a hard worker, follows instructions well. He's helped me a lot. In what, what ways? Help me get a job. Um, finding a job. For anybody it's a challenge, but with special needs, um, it's a bigger challenge because what he's able to do efficiently is more limited. Yes, if I if I had my if I had my job coach when I was working at my the place with the horses, I would possibly still have that job right now because there was a lot of miscommunication going on between me and the owner of the barn. Having a job coach helped me out by making it easier to find a job. I was excited when Evan's job coach had already identified. So he sat down with us and was able to identify Evan's interests, strengths, weaknesses, uh, what he wanted to do, but then was able to go identify an employer who was already autism friendly. So all of my anxiety or my fear of, oh gosh, what about this, what about that, was taken care of. Also that that employer is getting their money's worth mm -hmm. and so the job coach helps to um, address issues before they become a big issue. The, the uh, this toughest market I've seen in the hiring market is going on right now. There are people out there who just don't simply don't want to work at the moment and then there are people like Veronica who do want to work and they are capable of working and the understanding of what they can and can't do from the very beginning and then putting them in the right place and letting them develop into that place is very important. And I think with a job coach, um, they can help you find people that can fit those specific needs. Um, and if there are people in the marketplace who aren't looking for jobs right now, I feel like it's very important that we try to find the people who are and let's touch their lives and let them touch our lives and, and sort of win-win here. I mean more people and I make more money and okay. uh, Shape is your. Sure. We've got several people who are special needs. Okay. That work here 
and I don't treat them any no different than I treat anybody else. Okay. Uh, because you can't. Not in the workplace. We won't work together. We won't go work as a team. He's proud of himself, and other people are proud of him. Mm-hmm. You know, that that he's got a job, and that people see him at work. People visit his place of employment um, because he's there, and they want to support that. I re- I've replaced the part, fixed the vehicle, lower it down, bring it back around, give it to the customer, and the customer says, "Good job." Right. Then that makes me feel good inside. He's, he's wonderful, and I'm just glad we have this program. Yeah. To help. Yes, so they can actually be out in society and be productive and feel like the rest of us.